Hello everybody! Um, you may remember me from the first video, the introductory video, and um, also last unit, uh, both of us were talking uh, about the depth of reflection rubric. Well, Andy Noonan here is, um, let me tell you a little more about him. He is one of the teacher trainers for World Learning, and before he was at World Learning, he worked in a number of different countries teaching English as a foreign language, Japan for a really long time, Russia, Taiwan, also taught English in the United States, um, and he's also a, uh, an expert on teaching culture. He's given talks about it and all these things. So I asked him to tell us today about a really cool lesson on teaching culture in an EFL class. So Andy, why don't you tell us about that class? Thank you, Karen. Um, so what I'm going to tell you about today is a, is a lesson I often do um, kind of to, to begin the conversation on teaching culture, or the, the, the beginning conversation on culture with any sort of students I've had probably, um, you know, high school and above, intermediate and above in level. Um, this particular time was one of the first times I did it and I was, I was doing it as a demonstration lesson for a number of Russian teachers that I was working with in Kazan. Um, I think I, there were about eight teachers in the room and a kind of a simple cultural element, a, a piece of culture that you can easily take out of any culture and analyze and find a lot of kind of deep meaning in is the way people greet each other. Mm -hmm. um, you know, young people greet each other differently than older people, or a young person and an older person greeting each other is a different thing. And each culture, each country has its own way of, of greeting each other, and we can pull a lot of information out of that, which is kind of surprising because it seems like kind of the most natural thing that mm -hmm. we all do. Um, so how I set this up is I had two teachers, and I can just pick these at random. I can pick out any two people, hopefully from the same culture. So what I did was I chose two teachers who were about 30 years old, women, um, married, mothers, and I had them give the, the greeting that they would do on a Monday morning after not having seen each other since teaching on Friday. Mm -hmm. um, I had them stand up in front of the class and then translate their Russian greeting word for word into English while the rest of the class sits back and, and basically just takes notes on what they hear and what they see. Um, so these two teachers got up and um, the first one, Nadia, says to uh, Alina, eh, good morning, how are you? Mm -hmm. And Alina says, oh, Nadia, I'm not doing well. Um, I was at home all weekend long grading papers and my, my husband didn't do a thing. I still had to do the cooking. I still had to do the cleaning. And my kids were just off the wall. I don't know if they had too much sugar. How about you? And her friend says, oh, I understand completely. My weekend was, was awful. I was having to prepare for this test today. So I was spent all day at the kitchen table writing this test. I didn't even see my husband until Sunday night. He was off playing soccer all weekend long. Um, and my oldest daughter's sick, so I'm also having to take care of her. Ugh. <laughs> okay. And, and I'm sitting there, and I, I, this is truthful, that, that I'm sitting there just kind of in shock because I've, I've, I feel that a lot of my stereotypes about the Russian culture have just been confirmed. We'll get to that in a second. Now, what they do is, I, as you'll see on the box, is in box number one, I have the, the two teachers that participated in this demonstration then talk about what they did. They talk about what did they say, where did they stand, how did they touch each other, what kind of eye contact. So we can draw all those details out. And next we turn it to the audience. What did the audience see? And I'd maybe have them work in pairs, write down the dialogue that they heard, any key phrases that they heard. Um, in, in, in initial reactions that they might have had to this. Once we get those details out, we share, we do in the, in the group, we share what those details are as if it were a listening lesson. Then we move to box number three, which is the interpretation. We talk about, well, how can you explain this? From, from the insider's view, why did you do the things that you did? And from the outsider's perspective, I was the only true outsider in the room as a 40-year-old as a American. 
my reaction, what I saw was this really dark, <laughs> negative and full of complaints greeting for a Monday morning. And like I said about the stereotypes, I mean, let's be truthful, but some of the stereotypes we have about Russia is that, man, it's cold and it's dark and there's snow on the ground and this, this has kind of shaped the Russian character. So I'm sitting there kind of not saying much about this. I mean, I, I do describe this. I do describe that this is what, this is how I saw it. But then we turn it over to the insiders. 